How good of a point guard Jason Kidd was is seen by the fact that he is second on the all-time assist leaders list, with over 12,000 assists in his career. And on the drive, it's Kidd. Right behind the untouchable John Stockton, playing the point for four NBA teams, Kidd was a 10-time NBA All-Star. A five-time All-NBA First Team member. Off the glass, back to Kidd with a layup. What a play! <laughs> and a nine-time NBA All-Defensive Team member. Talk about a great defensive play. The seven-footer went in for the dunk, and Kidd blocks the shot and goes all the way to the... He won an NBA championship in 2011 as a member of the Dallas Mavericks and was a two-time gold medal winner in the Olympics with the U.S. national team in 2000 and 2008. Kidd's ability to pass and rebound made him a regular triple-double threat. Doesn't matter because... New Jersey got the rebound and the easy field goal. And he retired, ranked third all-time in the NBA for regular season triple-doubles with a career total of 107 and third in playoff triple-doubles with a career total of 11. He ranked second on the NBA all-time list in career assists and steals and 12th in three-point field goals made. Kidd played college basketball for the California Golden Bears. In his first year playing for the Golden Bears, he averaged 13 points, 7.7 .7 assists, 4.9 rebounds, and 3.8 steals per game, which earned him National Freshman of the Year honors and a spot on the All-Pac-10 team. His 110 steals set an NCAA record for most steals by a freshman and set a school record for most steals in a season, while his 220 assists that season was also a school record. His play was also a key factor in the resurgence of Cal basketball and helped the Golden Bears earn an NCAA tournament bid, where they upset two-time defending national champion Duke in the second round of that tournament before losing to Kansas in the Sweet 16. Krzyzewski congratulating the heir apparent to Bobby Hurley, Jason Kidd, and it was Jason Kidd's brilliant three-point play, the rebound and the follow shot and the free throw that gave Cal a lead it never lost. As one of the best players in the country, Kidd was drafted second overall by the Dallas Mavericks in the first round of the 1994 NBA Draft. Jason Kidd from the University of California. Jason Kidd, he played high school ball at St. Joseph's of Notre Dame. He was named co-NBA Rookie of the Year in his first season with the Mavericks, along with Grant Hill from the Detroit Pistons. In the following season, Kidd was voted as starter in the 1996 All-Star Game. In his first two years with the Mavericks, the move most people associated him with was the baseball pass. Kidd was a member of the three Jays in Dallas, along with Jim Jackson and Jamal Mashburn. After promising beginnings, things turned sour among the trio, and they were all traded. Kidd was traded to the Phoenix Suns with Tony Dumas and Lauren Meyer for Michael Finley and Sam Cassell during the 1996-97 season. In his first full season with the Suns in 1997-98, the team's win total improved by 16 games. In the 1988-99 season, Kidd averaged 10.8 assists per game to dethrone Washington's Rod Strickland as the league's assist leader. He also led the NBA with seven triple-doubles. The rest of the league had just 11 and was second in the NBA with 41.2 minutes per game. In the 2001 offseason, after five seasons in Phoenix in which the team made the playoffs each year, Kidd was traded along with Chris Dudley to the New Jersey Nets for Stefan Marbury, Johnny Newman, and Somalia Samaki. Jason joined the franchise as the team was constructed around a sophomore, Kenyon Martin, veterans Kerry Kittles and Keith Van Horn, along with the rookies Richard Jefferson, Jason Collins, and Brandon Armstrong coming from the draft day trade for the seventh pick, Eddie Griffin. 
2001-02 season, Saul Kidd led the Nets to a 52-30 finish, a 26-game improvement from the season before, and the first 50-win season in the franchise's NBA history. He was voted to the All-NBA First Team and finished second to the Spurs' Tim Duncan in MVP voting. Under Kidd's guidance, the young Nets team prospered through the playoffs, won the Eastern Conference title, and advanced to the franchise's first-ever appearance in the NBA Finals. In the NBA Finals, the Nets were swept in four games by Shaquille O'Neal and Kobe Bryant's Los Angeles Lakers. New Jersey enjoyed another stellar season under Kidd's leadership in the 2002-03 season, during which the team finished 49-33. Baseline jumper, it's good. Jason Kidd, Flynn. I'm a Croatian native. You see the anticipation from Kidd, and he takes it right at the defense. Looking for number six again. And reached the NBA Finals once again. Kidd had his highest scoring season with 18.7 points per game and led the league in assists with 8.9 per game. In the playoffs, after splitting the first four games with the Milwaukee Bucks, the Nets recorded a 10-game winning streak while sweeping the Celtics and the Detroit Pistons on their way to the second consecutive NBA Finals. In the Finals, New Jersey lost to Tim Duncan's San Antonio Spurs in six games. Even though the series was tied after the first four games, Kidd spent the next five years with the Nets as well, but no significant playoff success was made. In 2008, the Nets and the Mavs agreed on a huge deal that sent Kidd back to where he began his NBA career. The Mavericks hoped that Kidd would provide leadership to the team that, for years, had been labeled as weak mentally and helped Dallas and its franchise player, Dirk Nowinski, to win their first ever NBA championship which they eventually did in 2011. In the 2011 NBA Finals, the Mavericks defeated the Miami Heat in six games, despite trailing the Heat two games to one at one point. At various points, Kidd was called upon to defend superstars Dwayne Wade and LeBron James. Kidd averaged 9.3 points, 7.3 assists, 4.5 rebounds, and 1.9 steals per game during the Mavericks' 21-game championship run. At 38 years of age, he became the oldest starting point guard ever to lead his team to the championship. In the 2012 offseason, Kidd signed with the New York Knicks. A four-point play! But I thought that should have been an offensive foul. I think Kidd kicked leg. That was... He kicks it out to me. That's either a no call or an offensive foul. But that's a big-time shot by a big-time competitor. After making a verbal commitment to re-sign with the Mavericks, Kidd changed his mind and decided to sign a three-year deal with the Knicks, where he retired the following year. He was inducted as a player into the Nysmith Memorial Basketball Hall of Fame. In October 2021, Kidd was honored as one of the league's greatest players of all time by being named to the NBA 75th anniversary team. Thanks for watching. If you liked the video, press the like button and subscribe to the channel so you won't miss any new videos.